Ja, maar voor is er wat staan. Ja, is maar voor is er. Temba Sunny Boy Sekuwe was born on November 15, 1987. His father is originally from Nigeria and his mother is from South Africa. Temba was born and raised in the township of Soshanguve in Pretoria, North South Africa. He was born into a musical household since his mother was part of a gospel ministry and he grew up listening to gospel music. Two of his uncles are also musicians and one of them is a member of the Soweto Gospel Choir. Music has always been part of his life and he instantly fell in love with the art. His music journey began at a very early age. One of the earliest factors that inspired his music life was his mother who was a part of a gospel music group. His mother's music career path influenced him and he got the encouragement he needed from his family at an early age. His uncle then got him his first recording set which he started experimenting with music when he would pick his mother's records and listen to them. His love for poetry also influenced him to start writing music. Music for him started as a family tradition. He began listening to his mother's gospel tracks and would try to form beats from them and over time he became accustomed to it and decided to pursue his passion fully. Temba grew up listening to a lot of music, especially house music. He was inspired by some of the household names such as Corrida Groove, DJ Monde, DJ Fresh, DJ Yosquito and Black Coffee. When his father bought him a computer as a teen, he used it to learn how to make music. He already knew how to connect a PA system, an amplifier and a cassette. So when he got a computer, everything came together and gave him a chance to create better sounds. It was a cool space for him and a different world from that of an ordinary township boy. He was intrigued by a mixer, lights, and equalizer, the whole sound system. Temba collected more than 10,000 music files on his computer. Every day after school, he would run home to share music with his friends. Everyone used to bring their memory sticks to collect music from him. He had music, electronics, and headphones, so when there were parties, he was the guy they called to come and play. And by the time he was in his teens, the self-taught producer was the hood's resident DJ. He then started offering music services at local events such as beauty pageants, weddings, and birthday parties. Temba was an average student at school because he focused mainly on his craft, spending most of his time creating beats. At the age of 17, he challenged himself by recording and producing his first album titled Funny Face while in grade 11. Mapurisa was first discovered by DJ Oskido of Galawa Jasmine Records and was signed under the label as a producer. During this time, Mapurisa worked with artists like Professor, DJ Zinkle, Busiswa and Oskido. But he needed to make ends meet and he needed transport from Pretoria to Joburg to report at Galawa. So he used to DJ on weekends and opened a tuck shop at home just to have a cash flow. And at school, he used to sell sweets and lollipops. Eventually, he was able to save enough money and bought his first car. And that's how he was able to move around and make it to Galawa. He was still in his high school stage when he told his parents that he wanted to drop out of school. His love for music overpowered that of his education which he found boring. Maporisa cites legends who came before him such as Chico Twala 
and DJ Cleo, but he also wanted to be different and wanted to introduce a new sound. He would then form the group Uhuru, which consisted of four members, including himself, DJ Clap, who was from KZN, Mapiano, and Klelimpilo, who were from his township of Soshanguve. Uhuru had a semi-life band, where Mapiano played the keyboard, Klelimpilo played the drum, and Maporisa and Clap were the DJs. Maporisa officially became active in the music industry in 2008 after he formed Uhuru. Their signature sound consisted of skittering percussion and synths that blended South African house with Afrobeats. DJ Maporisa's major break in the music scene came when he started collaborating with top artists in South Africa in terms of their music productions and beat formulation. He started working with top DJs like Bugs and Galawa Jasmine's Oskido. His first Galawa hit song was Professor's Jezebel, a massive award-winning song in 2010. During this time, he would then produce hits like Jiga by Dr. Malinga and Goku by Busiswa. The release of the chart-topping single, Waichu Kucha, in 2013 was undoubtedly the biggest song in South Africa that year, catapulted his career into the entertainment industry. This proved only to be the beginning. He began his own record label called New Money Gang Records to promote local music. The song became so huge that Uhuru started getting bookings in Botswana, Zambia and Angola and it was during his travels that his sound became African influenced. He started appreciating different African cultures and took something from them which influenced his sound. I'm a Porisa. This is Uhuru and John, Helen, Helen Production, okay? South Africa versus Uhuru, Uhuru, Angola. Yeah, how are you doing, man? The following year, he produced and also featured on Mafigi Zolo's Corner, a song which topped many music charts and won several awards in South Africa and beyond, including Song of the Year at the 2014 MTV Music Awards. It was actually Mafigi Zolo's single Corner that bridged access to other African countries. DJ Maporisa became recognized after he co-released the hit single Corner. Not long after, Mafigi Zolo released another hit single titled The Sound, which featured international superstar Davido. Maporisa would then collaborate with several international icons like Wizkid, Ransown, Akon, and Diamond Platinums. In My Bed, a song that appeared in Wizkid's 2014 album, was the song that proved enough to announce the arrival of this dynamic producer to the international music scene. According to DJ Maporisa, Wizkid was the one who introduced him to Chris Brown, Jermaine Dupri, and Jedena. In My Bed was credited to Uhuru. DJ Maporisa launched his solo career after his exit from Uhuru. His popularity skyrocketed in 2016 after he co-produced Canadian rapper Drake's song One Dance, featuring Wizkid and British singer Kayla. Other notable artists who contributed to the song are 1985 and Noah Forty Shabib. The song reached number one in 15 countries, including Australia, France, and Germany. It topped the US Billboard Hot 100 for 10 weeks and became the joint third longest consecutive number one song in the history of UK singles chart with 15 consecutive weeks. On the 17th of November 2017, under his record label Black Boy Music, he released a full GOM album titled Black Boy Music Presents GOM Wave Volume 1, which featured various artists from South Africa. The artists featured were a mix of all genres. They included Vanessa MD, Zuchi Kok Dope, The Legacy, and more. The following year, Maporisa followed up Black Boy Music Presents GOM Wave Volume 1 and released Volume 2 which also featured various artists from South Africa. And artists featured were a mix of all genres also. 
the album debuted on US iTunes and Apple Music charts and with Midnight Staring also getting distribution in Canada. DJ Mapurisa first ventured into Chrome, but due to the Durban producers calling him out for doing a genre that wasn't from his hometown or province, he decided to major in Amapiano. The joint venture Scorpion King EP was released in 2019 with Gabza the Small. This was his first major EP released in 2019, with collaborative efforts with Gabza the Small. A week upon the release of the EP, it became an all-time fan favorite. The EP consisted of five songs, including Scorpion Kings, Lerato, Amantombazane, Meropa and Vulavala. Scorpion Kings would then be followed up with the release of The Return of Scorpion Kings. This was his second studio collaborative effort with Gabza the Small. The project consisted of 15 tracks and featured top South African artists. The album housed hit songs like Abu Yili, Amakosi, Indaba, Gabani and Lodge. On April 9, 2021, Maporisa, Trezor and Gabza the Small released the collaborative studio album Rumble in the Jungle. On the 16th of April 2021, Maporisa and Tyler ICU Studio EP Banyana was released. The EP featured Sir Trill, Daliwonga, Gabza the Small and Vixa. The single Banyana surpassed 4.2 million streams and was certified double platinum by the recording industry of South Africa. DJ Maporisa's versatility is unrivaled. From the work he's done internationally, as well as work with artists from home, Mapurisa is without a doubt one of the best DJs and producers in South Africa and the entire continent. He has been in the industry for a good time, which explains why he is the best in his niche. <laughs>